We are waiting for the metro now. We're going to Peaceburg. It's a burger place. It's this fancy burger place where you have to wear gloves to eat this burger. It's crazy here in Valencia. It's this, uh, it's more of a show than maybe quality, but it's like one of those things that's like, I don't know, like the hot pot, like hot pot where it's like, it's like the whole experience. I think that's what the same thing is with this Peaceburg place. And it's pretty far from us. And it opens at eight and it's eight now, but we're waiting for the damn Metro. It's taken forever. Look at all these people though. There's like this uh, three wise men parade going on upstairs. So everybody's leaving it right now. And it's, it's insane up there, isn't it? Everything is insane. It's insane how many people is in the streets. It's insane this fucking metro system that it's very hard to understand. Yeah. They are not clear signals. We don't know what we're doing here. So probably we'll take this metro and we will get off. At the wrong stop. At the wrong stop. It's not like Barcelona. No, and it's, it's small, it's short. So I don't know, I don't want to complain, but come on, I'm just hungry. Yeah, we want to eat that damn freaking cheese covered burger where you have to wear these huge gloves to eat it so hot it's so hot what here yes yeah it's hot too in the subway look at all the people though imagine imagine the freaking metro imagine the train itself holy crap it's gonna be crazy i got good news we made it we made it we made it we took the right one jesus look at this we're on our way though look at this son let's go get our peaceburg burger Woo! This is Bunjo. Click like, subscribe, and share. Let's go. So here it is, Pittsburgh Smash Burger. We're here. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's too busy, but we're gonna go in there and try a burger. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Does it seem busy? It's just open. Well, we made it to Pittsburgh. We're the first ones here, and it was a little bit kind of awkward in there, so because there's because we're filming right and there's like six workers in there and it would have just been us in it like in an empty room basically and they would all just been staring at us eating so, so now we have to eat out in the cold <laughs> it's okay what do you think it's okay for sure when the food is here we will yeah feel a little bit better about it but right now because i mean the street is like look at it it's kind of dead so we're like, oh, I don't know about this place I don't too know much. About this place. Yeah, because but, in the, at the video, it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks like everybody's fucking throwing burgers around. Everybody, the guy's throwing like fries party. in your mouth, you know, dipping everything. And then it's just like, here it's just like us two. Here we are. <laughs> I mean, we have to be honest. In Spain, they have dinner late, like in Argentina, 9 30, 10 p.m. So it's. 8.30, they just open. Yeah. Probably we'll get um, this year later. And also today is Friday. So you gotta remember that. And there's a huge parade, so everybody's still out at the oh, parade. Oh, that's true. So that's why all the streets here are dead because the parade is over somewhere else and it's pretty crazy. But we're gonna probably check out a pizza and we have to do this. We have to do the QR code, my worst, my worst enemy. Because we have to do the QR code, don't we? Yes. Ah. QR code, here it is, if you guys wanna check out the menu. I hate this because if we just brought her phone, she doesn't have the scan, so we can <laughs> look at the menu. <laughs> I, I get it, it's like a new age, she's yes, but whatever, here we are. <laughs> I'm complaining, Everything eh? Everything is a disaster tonight. <laughs> 300 grapes. So actually, her iPhone, all you have to do is take a picture, put the camera on the QR code, and the QR code option pops up. But we got our San Miguel. She got her 0, 0.0. And I got the big daddy half pint, eh? The this Magna. Looks nice. This looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at the color. Mm. It looks good, tastes good. Tastes like a beer. But she's got the menu here. We're gonna grab probably a pizza and a burger because they're both wild. And maybe there's a treat. Um, like, what do you call that? The pistachio one? Yeah, where it's like, what do you call that? Like the... Like a volcano. The sweet at the end, what do you call that? Uh, postre. Yeah, like a pastry at the end, and it's like you cut it open, and it uh, pours out this pistachio sauce all over the place. What is that called again, eh? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that called again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We 
got the first burger out. Beautiful, eh? See, we, he's a smart man. He knows we're gonna cut it and split it, eh? <laughs> Check it out, eh? How? Pittsburgh, eh? How? How? Go cut it. This. It's, a, it's crazy. Yeah, it's we're gonna. Big. It's like That's big, what she big. said. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Oh! Well, here we go. Let's try to cut this, eh? Oh, this it's hard. It's actually really hard to cut. Oh. Yes. Bacon. Mm. Mm. Here, Andy. No, it's good. Look at it. I tried to cut it. No way, yeah. Try to take a piece. Try to take a half. You cut it pretty good? Yeah, I think so. Look at that baby. Look at that. How is it? Mm, I only had um, the egg, but it's hard for me. I only have one egg. Yeah, here I'm gonna try to do it a little bit. Mm. What? What is it? Mm. It's actually damn good. The onions, the sweet onions, I love that. It's a really good burger. It's messy as hell, though. But what do you expect? And she dropped her. <laughs> the wind took her napkin. So, ah. But the burger, it's 14 euros. It's pricey. With three burgers. Yeah. What? Three burgers. But if you if you guys go to McDonald's here, it's the same. It's the same. It's not that much cheaper here. Look at this. Three burgers. But how do you like that? It tastes real, real meat. Yeah, it's real meat and it's quality, you know? Mm. Pretty good. Bacon eggs. Bacon eggs. It's like a, it's like a breakfast oh. burger almost. And there's the pizza, huh? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we heard about this place on Instagram because, I don't know, it was like this um, like party, they made it like a big party and stuff. And look at this. So what you do here is you cut it and then it opens up and it's like lava that spills out kind of. Have you ever had this kind of cheese? Mm. Mm -mm. that that cheese? Watch. Watch this. Mmm, I guess it's not. It's supposed to be. <laughs> but it's supposed to be. Hold on. <laughs> ah, okay. Not bad, huh? No But I think it's supposed to be more overflowing. Like, maybe it's because it's uh, colder. But yeah, didn't work out to what I see in videos. <laughs> the burger is good though, huh? I'm telling it, and it's very healthy. Full, full. You're full already? Damn, I feel like it's small. But I'm a, but I'm a hungry. So. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, it's a problem with eating outside. And the wind is crazy. Mm. <coughs> but this is good. You want to try it, Enzo? No. Mm. Now the pizza was 14 euros. I'm going to be honest with you. 
it looks like it's way too expensive for this. <laughs> right? The like, burger is the same price, and for the, that price, I will get a. Yeah, they like, do. What's in it, gold? Here, you want to try to rip a piece off? Mm. It's not bad. Let me try some of this cheese here. This one, not the cheese, right? You gotta have some of this cheese, I guess, but it's hard to get it all together, isn't it? It's very messy. Mm. If you're coming on a first date, this is probably not the place. Yep. You'd be so messy in front of your first date. Mm. I don't know, what do you think? No worth it, the The burger is the best though. Mm -hmm. I'll say it. if you go to McDonald's, the burger that I ordered the other day cost 14 euros. This one costs 14 euros. I'd rather get this one easily. And but this is just the burger. And McDonald's, you get the McFlurry and like a bunch of other stuff with it. But this is real meat. That's damn good. But the pizza isn't bad. Pizza's good. And you like it? Damn. I don't know, it is something not different. I don't know what it is. I think it's this meat. Yeah, it's mortadella. It's weird. I like mortadella. Yeah, it's mortadella. It's good. You don't listen to me then. I like it. I think she just doesn't like the price. Mm. Yeah, if I'm coming here, ordering a burger every single time, honestly. The pizza, it's not bad. It just has to be bigger for that price. And more yeah. more to it. Yeah. More to it, look at it, right? <laughs> yeah. More to it. That's all I'm saying. The burger. Mm. The burger was good. Oh. And we ordered gourmet, so they're both gourmet. Like yeah. that more expensive one. I don't know. I'll tell you how much the final price is what we actually think of it later and then and that's it we're at peace back <laughs> yeah. yes. in Valencia oh. not so much physical. remember I said at the beginning I'm like oh it's gonna be like the hot pot like the experience oh, we're going for that no oh, it's not like no <laughs> no party the magic didn't happen magic no magic yeah. sometimes the bad part about having a, a banging Instagram account for your food joint is actually uh, a little hindrance because it makes it look like sensational and fun and then it makes the food look amazing but then so you have this high expectation and then when you get it it was down here just because your expectation was up here maybe it could be good but the expectation just kind of ruins it I mean, the burger was good, but 14 euros? Jesus, man. For that pizza, six slices? Jeez, what are we doing? What are we doing? Pizza bar, come on. Hopefully there's a better one. We've seen, check out their Instagram. You guys can tell me. The burger and stuff, did you see it? Did it match? Did it match? I'm not so sure it did. I'm not so sure it did. But we're here at Pizza in Mola in Valencia. Was it a success? Tasted good, everything was fine. The pizza was great tasting. Burger is great tasting. But for the bang for the buck, I'd have to give it a thumbs down. I don't think I'd come back here. But would I pick this or McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> I know I, what I said, but this is a real burger. I'd pick the burger over McDonald's burgers for sure. But <laughs> I just wouldn't pay 14 euros just for one burger. Like you don't get nothing with it. I just think that's crazy, but at least if you go to a McDonald's, you get the 
burgers, the fries, the drink, the ice cream, and the snack. Here you just get the burger. So, I don't know. I don't think I'd come back. <laughs> Would you come back with me? No. The chow fa was there. <laughs> chow fa, chow fa. Yeah, Bar Valencia killed it. But, yeah, we came for the show and the entertainment meal, but it didn't happen. Just an overrated place with a banging Instagram account. But let's kill this last bite here. Crispy, crunchy. You can tell they cook it on a, a proper stove, a proper oven. Pretty good. It's like, it's hard to explain. They have no sauce on it. Hey, look. It's like they cook it as a garlic bread first and then put the cold toppings on top of it, like the mortadella and the cheese because it's like cooked like a, a garlic bread like with the cheese on it it's cooked like that so it's a little bit different than a typical pizza there's no like sauce on it nothing like that so it's different that's for sure maybe it has something to do with the emola name i don't know but magna baby that's it this is bunjo from valencia but don't take my experience for it Come here and try it yourself and tell me what you guys think. If you guys ate here before, let me know what you guys think. We'd like to hear your experience. Did you like it? Did you think it was worth money? And that's it. We're done. We're back at the Metro. We're taking the right place, the right train to the right place, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a little bit hard, huh? It's so hard. It's not like Barcelona, Valencia. They don't put like because in Barcelona the main thing is to know where is the end of the where is the destination of the train or metro that you're getting. Here it looks like yeah you are in fucking Alameda one. M and M's. But you don't know which way you are going. No. You know it's like there is no good signal signals here. Yeah, so there's no good signs and it's kind of confusing like we think that we're going the right way because it says we're here and it this is black and white this is in color so it should be going this way and we're going to Angel Maria. so we're gonna check it out the metro here in Valencia